Okay then boys and girls, here we are for match two. Uh, a shorter video this time as uh, we've uh, decided to mix it up a little bit. There's a 50 point bounty on Hemming's head. Um, so we're going to have to follow him for most of the game. Pretty uneventful to begin with. They've mostly been doing this actually, just driving around the edges of the map. Um, we'll try and catch uh, the action though as we come into the final stages of the game. We're in uh, phase three of the game at the moment. Um, so yes, let's... Uh, Let's see who gets the bonus on taking out uh, the clan lead. Fantastic first game on Vikendi. Uh, hopefully we'll have a good conclusion to this one also. There's a few teams well out of zone there. Uh, team 43 and 16 up in the northwest. Here with uh, quite a D knockout. Looks like uh, a little bit, a little bit away from LTS there. So, 27 players remaining. Uh, here we are with uh, the dynamic duo that is Magpie and Hemmings. Magpie serving as, as bodyguard there. Best bodyguard and driver on the EU server, Magpie. Um, yeah, but no, I don't care how much you rev that, mate. I don't think you're getting that off. <laughs> so, it looks like these guys might be on foot for a little while. Um, okay, well. Keep an eye on them. Here we are with uh, Obliterate. Looks like Gods of Greece are just driving past. And Team 43 well out of it. All the way up there in the blue. Uh, yeah, it seems to be a usual state of affairs. Okay, so these guys are trying to rotate it on foot, but they've... Uh, well, they decided to try and take on our winners from the last game rather than getting a zone. 50 point bounty on Hemmings head. We don't want him to die in the blue. We want it to be uh, definitely loud, gratuitous with many, many bullets to the head. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, the famous bodyguarding style of crash the car and leave your client in the desert and run off there from Magpie. Just outstanding stuff. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Okay, they've, uh, looks like they're not going to be going after 16 and uh, trying to at least get a bit closer. Uh, another minute till the next phase of the game. And yeah, there's, uh, there's still quite a bit of uh, action going on north of this uh, next circle. Here's Elf Quan. In the AWM. Beautiful shot there on Darshan. And another gets the knock. Really nice shooting there. Here we are with Grassroots. Looks like uh, they've got a little bit of an overview on Hemmings now. Winners of the last game, these two. Shadow and Killam. Unless they don't know they've got Hemmings down there. Or I rather suspect they'll be pushing in quite aggressively. And looks like Quan and Fiber have taken uh, another couple of kills. Six kills for this team now. Uh, team 43, Jammy has managed to... Uh, I mean, fill you in. They've managed to rotate in. Uh, you want to Greece approaching Team 17. Only describe that driving as Magpie-esque. There's the next zone. And that's not good for the teams up in the northern part of this play area. Makes it even further to rotate out. Hemmings and Magpie really fighting the blue here. Killam and Shadow on their left flank. Out in the open, though. Shadow not. And he's going to get the thirst on him. Not quite. And a lot of open ground to cover. Only another minute or so until the next 
circle pops and these guys are still quite a long way out a lot of open ground there we got uh, obliterate sweet down there looks like team from penna down there also let's have a closer look beautiful location the guys from penn center circle covered with the building it looks like that's where the uh the final stages of this match are going to be trying desperately to rotate across this field, Hemmings. So, controlling the play, beautiful, lovely shot there. I think it was a sniper shot from one of the guys from Penn. Anything less than a level 3 helmet, and that would be Hemmings Knox with that one, I fancy. Managed to get himself medded up okay, though. Not really a lot of options for these guys. Now getting into it with Spider and Wasp, though. Hemmings getting a knock on Wasp. from grassroots up there also and yeah grassroots getting the kill in still slightly out of zone these guys starting to push on them now so like Hemming's going to try and push this I think he's just going to have to break this off and rotate already in the blue It's really starting to drop. Should just about make it, I think. Circle's been very difficult for them again. Penn's still holding that compound. And it looks like this flank's clear now. Spider and Wasp gone, so eight players left. That's a lot of open ground to cover for Magpie and Hemmings to try and get in the zone. Got Tabernak and Vish holding that location. We got Cons and Devious also. So two teams now from Penn and Quanidy and Knockout still left. Looks like Cons has been not. Rounds coming in past Hemmings now from. Uh, Tabernak and Vish. Still very slightly out of zone here. And yeah. Uh, team 45 seem to have the uh, the good location here. Trying to find as much cover as you can in that uh in that hay there and oh <laughs> taken out and uh and burned with his own molly there quite a spectacular death so i think that was tabernak who got him um so there's 50 points for that team uh, and that's having taken out so uh here we are five players remaining uh quanny dean knockout uh, approaching the duo from penn Getting a lot of damage there, knockout. I managed to just about get some cover there. Uh, four players left. You have to say the advantages seem to be with Team 45 here. Uh, I have the location. Tabernak and Vish. I'm taking between buildings. Having it all their own way, a few rounds coming in. There's knockout. Still stuck behind his hay bale over there. Haystack. Um, I'm gonna put some rounds into the car, maybe try and uh, blow that. And here we go, looks like Vish is out in the open. Putting the rounds into knockout. 
getting quite a bit of damage into him there. And yep, that's it, boys and girls. Looks like we have the winners from Penn. Well played indeed. So the scores on the doors for our last game. Fantastic performance, guys, from Penn, Tabernak and Vish. 13 kills for that team, plus the 50-point kill bonus in first place. Well done. In second place, we have Quanny Din Knockout with four kills for that team. Hemmings and Magpie in third, one kill apiece. Uh, other kills, we have one for Cons, one for Stevo, one for Lugrass, one for Shadow, one for Killum, one for Sweet, three for Python, four for Greminem, uh, two for Zeus, two for Atlas, uh, looks like we have one for Animal, uh, four for Fiber, two for Quan, one for Jammy, one for Phil Ewin, and one for Darshan, two for Malice, five for Coop15, one for Boss Gal, I think that's all we have there. We have one for Fitzy. And coming down the list, one for Cobra. One for Grey Ace. One for Rude Evil Bitch. One for Jake. And we have one for Decoy. Well, that's all we have, boys and girls. Uh, thank you all so much for making this such a successful first season of our scrim event. Um... Really look forward to seeing you guys next season um, and continue to give me lots of good fun stuff to make videos about. So thank you all very much indeed and as always, good hunting and bye for now.